What is the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities? This United Nations Convention, known as the Disability Convention, outlines the human rights of disabled people. What are human rights? These are the basic rights and freedoms belonging to all people. To be treated fairly and equally, with respect and dignity. Regardless of sexuality, religious beliefs or life choices. Human rights are also about how a government ought to treat its people. Such rights ensure that all people can be safe and protected from hurt, make their own decisions, have a good life, and be involved in their community and society. What is the Disability Convention? All over the world, disabled people do not have the same access to human rights that other people do. The Disability Convention is a worldwide human rights agreement. It makes the human rights of disabled people clearer. The Convention does not give disabled people new human rights. It makes clear they have the same rights as everybody else. Regardless of if they have a disability or not. It tells governments how to remove barriers and makes sure disabled people have access to their rights. The United Nations General Assembly adopted the Disability Convention in December 2006. Its aim is to promote, protect and ensure equal human rights and freedoms for all disabled people. And to also promote respect for disabled people's dignity. Many governments, including New Zealand's, have signed and ratified the Convention. Who are disabled people? The Convention defines disabled people as those with long-term, physical, mental, intellectual or sensory impairments. It says that because of their impairment and society's attitudes, Disabled people may be prevented from participating in society the same as other people. Everyone is different. The Convention's principles are based on respecting differences and accepting disabled people as part of a diverse human society. When disabled people are excluded, society disables them. If they are included, they can lead full and satisfying lives.
and contribute to society. What does the Convention mean for New Zealand? New Zealand ratified the Convention in September 2008. This means our government must implement the Convention so that disabled people can enjoy the same human rights as everybody else. Seventeen per cent of New Zealanders are disabled. This large section of society is often left out. They can find it hard to get a good education, find a good job, participate in the community and have a say. The Convention can help change this. What does the Disability Convention say? The Convention aims to protect the civil, political, economic, social and cultural rights of disabled people. Governments that ratify the Convention must implement the civil and political rights immediately. But they can implement the economic, social and cultural rights gradually as they gain more resources. The Convention gives governments practical information on how to ensure the rights for disabled people. This includes guidance on making health, education and other services accessible, such as providing mobility aids, helpful technologies and easy to read information. The Convention specifically recognises civil and political rights, the right to life, protection in situations of risk and emergency, equal recognition before the law, access to justice, right to liberty and security of person, freedom from torture or cruelty, inhumane or degrading treatment, or punishment, freedom from exploitation, violence and abuse, protecting the integrity of the person, right to liberty of movement and nationality, right to live independently and be included in the community, right to personal mobility, freedom of expression and opinion and access to information, respect for privacy, respect for home and the family, and participation in political and public life. Economic and social and cultural rights. Access to education. Health. Rehabilitation and habilitation. Work.
an adequate standard of living and social protection and participation in cultural, recreation, leisure and sport. How does New Zealand implement the Convention? The Disability Convention states that at least one area of the government should deal with implementing the Convention. In New Zealand, this is the Ministerial Committee on Disability Issues, with support from the Office of Disability Issues. World governments must report to the UN on their progress. The first report is due two years after a government has ratified the Convention. After that, reports are due every four years. What is the Human Rights Commission's role? The UN recognises the Commission as New Zealand's independent human rights organisation. The Commission's work is to promote, protect and monitor human rights of all New Zealanders. The Commission has identified disabled people as one of the most disadvantaged groups in New Zealand. A major focus of its work is improving their human rights. The Disability Convention states that any government that ratifies must set up an independent checking process. In New Zealand, this involves three parties. The Human Rights Commission, the Office of the Ombudsman and various disabled people's organisations through the Disability Convention Coalition. The Commission will report to the UN, separately from government reports, on how the Convention is being implemented in New Zealand. Disabled people's organisations may also write reports to the UN. How can I be involved? The Disability Convention states that disabled people and their organisations must be involved in how the Convention is implemented. You can do this by telling everyone about the Convention and what it means sharing your ideas with the government, telling the Commission about your experiences of getting or not getting your human rights, making a complaint if something goes wrong, and becoming involved in one of the three independent reports 
These reports will be sent to the UN. How can I get a copy of the Disability Convention? You can access the information about the Convention in a variety of ways. The full Convention and some summaries of the Convention are available on audio tape, in Braille, full English, plain English, Easy Read, Te Reo Māori, Māori Easy Read, New Zealand Sign Language and a range of Pacific languages. There is also a summary for children available. You can find all of these versions on the Human Rights Commission's website.